set up intervals on your Garmin Connect app. Now, if you don't have a Garmin watch or a smartwatch, that's totally fine. You can use this app on your phone called the Interval Timer, I believe. And it will do something really similar. Great, so before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel right below. I'll be posting a new video on my channel every week related to triathlon. So it could be about running, biking, or swimming. Okay, so your first step when you want to create your workout is when you open the Garmin Connect app, you're going to go at the bottom where it says more. It has three little dots, so you're going to select that. Then you're going to press training and workouts, and then create a workout. I'll use running as an example to do the interval workout for today, but note it can also be done for other sports like biking. Some important features to note when you're creating your workout is there's something called duration type. In that category, you'll find time, distance, lap button press, calories, and heart rate. But in this case, I want to have the workout change after a set amount of time, which will be 30 minutes. So I'm gonna select time, but note that uh, distance can also be really useful if you just want to run a specific distance like 400 meter or 800 meter. Now to add the interval part of your training, you need to press add a repeat. From there you can customize the interval itself. Uh, one thing is you can select how many times you're gonna do it and also uh, customize each component. Uh, like previously, you can change the duration type and then um, select a specific time or distance. You can also add an intensity target for each segment of your workout. Uh, that basically means you can add a target pace, speed, cadence, herd zone, uh, whatever you want to focus on during your workout. Once you're done creating your workout, the last thing, the last few steps to do is to save it and give it a name. In this name, in this case, I'm gonna name it uh, Run RPE 10. And then when you save it, you can also add it to your calendar and select a date that you plan on doing it. Okay, that's gonna be everything for today. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye!